Para bailar la bamba se necesita una poca de gracia Una poca de gracia y otra cosita Y arriba, y arriba Ay, arriba, y arriba, y arriba iré Yo no soy marinero Yo no soy marinero Por ti seré, por ti seré, por ti seré And I'm Carly Benj. And today we're going to make chicken enchiladas. So the first step is to start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. And then secondly, we're going to take a one-third cup of vegetable oil and pour it into our saute pan. And then we're going to turn our stove on so that it will heat the tortillas. So as your um, oil is heating, what we're going to want to do is we're um, going to take one um, corn tortilla um, about six inches wide and you're going to just simply lay it in um, the hot oil. You're going to wait about 15 seconds. Then you're going to want to flip your corn tortilla and let the other side cook for another um, 15 seconds, just so we can make sure that um, our corn tortillas are nice and crisp. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna take the corn tortilla and you're gonna drain it on a paper towel, which we have set up right there. And then once it's all done, <laughs> pick it up, <laughs> put it on a paper towel. And then we're going to do about uh, 12 of these. So we'll come back once we're done with 12. Hey, okay, so we just finished cooking all 12 tortillas. So there they are. They're drying out on that paper towel. So now we're going to saute one onion. Well, Actually take like about two tablespoons of vegetable oil and put that in your saute pan. And then we're gonna do one medium sized onion. And um, one medium sized green pepper. And then oregano. And a little bit of basil. You're going to saute that for about five minutes. That's what we're cooking right there. There it is. So we'll do this for like another five minutes and then we'll come right back. So we finished sauteing the peppers, onions, oregano, and basil, and now we're going to start making the enchiladas. So first you take a half cup of your enchilada sauce, which you can just find like at Safeway or somewhere in the canned food section. You pour on the bottom. If it's not enough to fill the bottom, then I would take a little bit more and put it in the places where it needs to fill. All right, that looks about good. And so then you're going to want to take your tortilla. You're going to take just one fourth cup of chicken. You can like measure it out, but we're just going to probably estimate, estimate about that much chicken. And then we're going to take um, two, two tablespoons of um, grated Monterey Jack cheese. And at the grocery stores, this is called... Um, Mexican cheese, so it kind of goes with the enchilada theme. And then you're going to take one tablespoon of um, the um, onion mixture. Put that in there. And then you're going to do the same um, for all the rest of your um, corn tortillas. Another fourth cup of chicken. Two tablespoons of cheese, 
All right, so once we're done with all 12, we will come right back. Hmm. All right, so as you can see, we finished making the uh, tortillas, and then we put them in here like this, and so we're going to show you how to fold it. Um, you take the tortilla, and you basically roll it, and then with the seam side down, you're going to place it in the bottom of the pan. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, um, to take the rest of your enchilada sauce and you're going to want to cover um, all over the top of the enchiladas in the pan. So put in a few more. All together you're going to have about three 10 ounce um, cans of enchilada sauce. You can use any kind that you like. It doesn't have to be a specific kind. For um, Alex and I's um, enchiladas, we used a mild sauce, but there's a mild, um, a medium, and a hot. So whatever your mouth can take. All right, so then there's going to be about a half cup of cheese left. You're going to take all the cheese in here. You're just going to take it all and sprinkle it across the top of your enchiladas. And so then, once you're done with this, our oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. So we're going to take that and we're just going to pop it in the oven and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So our enchiladas just got finished and there they are. They smell really good. So we finished our enchiladas and now Alex and I are going to try them. Mmm. <laughs> They're really good. They're really good. We'll definitely make this recipe again. Definitely. Happy International <laughs> Week. Bye.